Hello, my dazzling audience. Prepare yourselves for a breathtaking journey into the enchanting realm of vibrant gemstones and the captivating stories they hold. Welcome to the spellbinding kingdom of jewelry. Today, you and I are embarking on an expedition to Asia, more precisely, the captivating land of Thailand. Let the adventure unfold. Our destination leads us to the Thai franchise Tiara, once adorned by one of the world's most stunning women in the 1960s, Queen Sirikit. Queen Sirikit of Thailand emerged as an iconic monarch from Southeast Asia, striving to showcase the distinct culture and traditions of her realm to the European continent. Every international visit of the Thai royal couple was meticulously planned, with special emphasis placed on the Queen's regal image. Her ensembles always featured ethnic motifs, complemented by astonishingly luxurious and diverse jewelry. Queen Sirikit's aspirations were fulfilled, garnering recognition as one of the 10 most beautiful women in the world in 1960, 1961, 1963, and 1964 by global experts in women's clothing design. Her portrait braced the pages of all fashionable glossy editions across Europe, introducing the entire world to the country of a thousand smiles. A peculiar tyra from the collection of the Asian queen captivated the attention of jewelry connoisseurs. This Van Cleef and Arpels tyra had an intriguing origin. Originally gifted by King Rama V to one of his several wives, Sawabi, Acquired during the king's European travels, the tyra was initially utilized by the Korleva consort as a necklace for various events. Queen Rambe Barney was the first to be pictured wearing the tyra in the 1920s, including during the coronation of her consort, King Prajatipok of Thailand in 1926. Moving forward to the 1960s, Queen Sirikit began showcasing the diamond jewel as a necklace, starting with a historic European tour. Occasionally paired with her Thai tiara and diamond bandeau tiara, the fringe tiara also braced Princess Bejaratana in the 1960s. Transitioning into the late 1960s, Queen Sirikit elevated the jewel status by wearing it as a tiara, commencing with the state visit of the Shahinsha of Iron. Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, and his wife Farah to Thailand in 1968. The Tyra's grandeur continued to captivate audiences, making a notable appearance in 1972 during a British state visit to Thailand, where Queen Elizabeth P. E., accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh and Royal Princess Anne, was received by King Vumibol Ajiliadij and Queen Sirikit. The final chapter in the tower's public appearances unfolded at a banquet during Sweden's state visit to Thailand in 2003, marking the enduring legacy of this exquisite diamond tyra. Join me as we delve deeper into the stories behind these mesmerizing jewels on our dazzling journey through the world of treasures. <laughs>